Hi everyone, this is Christian with the Tech Reviewer. Looking for the perfect protective clear case for your brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max and can't decide between Case Defy's Ultra Impact case and the new Mouse Clarity 2.0? Well, you are in luck because I have a 14 Pro Max in silver and I am ready to do a little compare and contrast. Let's get started. Looking first at Mouse's new Clarity 2.0 case, this is an update on their original Clarity case, which is also available for the iPhone 14 series. So your original Clarity case does not have MagSafe. The new Clarity 2.0 does have MagSafe. And as far as I can tell, that's the only difference between these two cases. So if you don't need MagSafe or don't want MagSafe, you can actually save quite a bit of money by going with the original Clarity rather than the Clarity 2.0. But personally, I love MagSafe, so I would always go with the MagSafe version. So this is a really nice case. There are two colors available. You have this clear, and then there is also an iridescent dawn version. So we're going to look at both of those on my silver iPhone 14 Pro Max. Really cool looking case. Feature-wise, we have TPU sides and a hard polycarbonate back. We have the MagSafe ring. We have this magic drop protective aeroshock material that runs around the perimeter here. That's Mouse's special impact protective material. Mouse says this is going to give extreme protection to your device. Exactly how extreme that is, we don't know because Mouse does not publish any drop height ratings. But I will say that this case does seem quite well made and it seems like it should provide very good protection to your device. Although there is some question about the camera opening, which I'm going to talk about later. Overall, really nice case here from Mouse. Putting the Clarity 2.0 on your iPhone is quite easy. You wanna start on your left-hand side, put your top and your bottom corners in, make sure that both of them are in place, and then go over to your right hand side and then push on your two right hand corners. Once on, we've got a nice tight fit on here, slight amount of give over your buttons and your port openings, but other than that, nice tight fit. I think everything feels very secure. As far as the amount of lip is concerned, keep in mind first off, I do have a tempered glass screen protector on here, so all the lip you are seeing is less than it actually is, because this is edge to edge, it's taking up a significant amount of your lip. But also, of course, we do have a lower lip here in the middle and a high lip at the bottom and the top. This is a classic mouse design. The idea behind this is that it makes the case feel much slimmer in your hand, because you're gonna be holding it in the middle, and you're also able to swipe easily from side to side without hitting a wall, so that is good. And you still have plenty of protection because of those high lips on your top and bottom. So overall, really good design. I think it works well, and got a nice fit here with this tempered glass screen protector. This is a case Defy tempered glass screen protector, blue light blocking, really quite a nice screen protector, and by the way, an excellent fit with this case. Although, if you want to go all mouse, mouse does offer their own screen protectors, so that's an option too. So looking down here at our port openings, we've got symmetrical port openings for an asymmetrical port design, so that is not ideal. This side should obviously be smaller. There's no reason why it needs to be quite so big, but that's a pretty small issue, and mouse has been making their cases this way for a long time, so I doubt they're going to be changing anytime soon. So looking at our port openings, these are going to be plenty large for most third-party lightning cables, although of course this case does support both regular Qi wireless charging as well as MagSafe charging, so you might find you're using that functionality less than you otherwise would. Going around to the sides here, we have a spot for a lanyard here on one side and the other side too. This is just like the Limitless 5.0 cases this year, so that's nice. Going up the sides, you have a TPU grip on here. It's what I would like to call it. So this is going to be grippy enough so it feels secure in your hand, but it's still going to slide easily in and out of pockets and handbags. Very glossy finish on here. Has a pleasant feel to it. It's not a terribly grippy case, but it's just grippy enough. 
And then going up here to our buttons, these are responsive, but we do have a slit button design here. So they did not update the buttons on the Clarity 2.0 the same way they did on the Limitless 5.0 cases this year. So Limitless 5 used to have the slit button design and then they moved to floating buttons, but they've kept the same slit button design here with the Clarity 2.0. It's fine, it works well, the slits make the buttons more responsive, but the issue here is that dust or dirt could get in through the slits, so some people don't like this type of design. So as far as access to your mute switch is concerned, no issues there. You've got plenty of space unless you have absolutely enormous fingers. And then looking at our view from the top here, again, great fit here on the phone. Everything looks excellent. Nice fit here with this case to five screen protector. And then going over to the sides, again, we've got a nice responsive button here, but same slip button design, so be aware of that. Looking at the back of the case, this crystal clear material does a wonderful job in showing off the beauty of your iPhone. I love the way my silver iPhone looks here. So we got a little bit of mouse branding down here at the bottom. Everything looks lovely. You've got a very slim profile here. So as far as fingerprints and scratching are concerned, clear cases like this tend to have a problem with fingerprints and scratching. but. As far as I can tell, this does not seem to be a terrible fingerprint magnet. I think that they have a coating on here which is helpful against fingerprints. I know that they have an anti-scratch coating on here and there is anti-yellowing as well. As far as the scratching is concerned, you're going to be helped by the fact that you have a ridge here at the bottom and a ridge at the top. So when this is placed on its back, the majority of the back of the phone case is going to be held very slightly above a flat surface. So that is going to help reduce scratching over time. It's also going to help give you a little bit more protection for your rear camera. So the rear camera design on here is controversial. We have a camera rim here on two sides and then no camera rim at all on the other two sides. And if you place this on its back, you have hair thin protection. I mean it's really hard to tell if you actually have enough protection or not but I tested it and you do. You do have enough protection so as long as you're putting your phone down on a flat surface the camera lens is not going to touch that surface. So as far as impact is concerned, Mouse says that their research has shown that impacts are going to be sufficiently protected by having this rim here. So I imagine that Mouse knows what they're talking about, but the upshot here is that you have a slimmer looking phone case. You don't have a huge camera bump. So I think that those are definitely both pros here. It's really an attractive looking case, particularly for such a huge phone as the 14 Pro Max. And again, hopefully Mouse knows what they're talking about. And given that that's what Mouse specializes in, I think we should be able to trust them. As far as wireless charging is concerned, this is going to work perfectly with regular Qi wireless charging and being a MagSafe case, it's going to work great with Apple's MagSafe charger as well. We've got a good tight MagSafe connection here, that's all excellent. You're obviously going to be able to use this with other MagSafe accessories as well, such as MagSafe wallets, MagSafe power banks, etc. Mouse has their own MagSafe wallet, which has always been one of my favorites. This one's a leather wallet, works really well, holds two cards, and it has an extra strong connection because it's got really good magnets plus little silicone dots on the back. So if you want to go all mouse, then this is a nice combo. Overall, just a lovely case on the phone. Removing this case from your phone is pretty easy. Just start up in your top right hand corner, press that off, go down to the bottom right hand corner, press that off, and then pull out your phone. Checking out the iridescent version of the Clarity 2.0, we got exactly the same fit on here as the clear version we were just looking at. Same high bottom and top lips, same buttons, same port openings, it's all exactly the same. And then looking at the back of the case, this iridescent back plate is just lovely. Really, really attractive. So this is a clear case that's not quite clear. So it's clear in some lights and then in other lights when you look at it, it can turn pink and orange. It's just very lovely, very unusual. 
And again, we have this lovely slim look here. It's extra slim because you don't have that huge rear camera rim. I think this is quite an elegant solution that Mouse has come up with in terms of the rear camera protection. Hopefully it is as protective as Mouse says it is, because it certainly does look really good. Just a lovely case here. One of the things which is really nice about these cases is that you have a very nice feel in the hand. You have a good amount of grip on here, and you have a very slightly rounded feel here on the edges. So when you're holding this in your palm, it feels quite smooth, quite nice. Overall, just a lovely case on the phone. And then if you're considering the regular Clarity case, the one that's not MagSafe, we'll just show you this one really quick. So we got exactly the same case here as the Clarity 2.0. Same high bottom and top lips, lower lip in the middle for a slim overall design. Same port openings, got the same spot here for a lanyard on both sides. Same buttons, same mute switch opening. Everything is exactly the same. But when you go to the back, you'll see no MagSafe ring. So wireless charging compatible for sure, but not MagSafe compatible. And we have the same design for the rear camera. So protection on the two outer sides and flush design here on the two inner sides. Gives you a super slim phone case, very elegant, very nice. Moving on to Case Defy's Ultra Impact case, very nice case here, great feel in the hand. So this is quite a rigid case, very little flex to it. We've got a hard polycarbonate back and slightly more flexible TPU sides. We also have a high degree of recycled content in this because of Case Defy's Recase Defy program where they give a discount to people when they send in their old phone case to buy a new phone case and then they use the old phone cases as part of the recycled material for their new phone cases. So that's just an excellent initiative. We also have a greater amount of drop protection this year with Case Defy's cases. So their Ultra Impact is rated for an 11.5 foot drop as opposed to 9.8 feet last year. And this is due to the new type of special protective material we have running around the perimeter. This is a material called EcoShock. So it's plant-based and plant-inspired, apparently inspired by the design of tree roots. It gives you 20% more impact protection for the same size case, so really impressive there. Overall, just a lovely case by Casetify. So putting your phone in here is a bit tighter than with the Mouse Clarity 2.0. You want to start on your left hand side. Make sure both your top and your bottom corners are properly inset. And then you go over to your right hand corners and press those on. Overall, not bad, just a little bit tighter than with the Mouse Clarity 2.0. Once on, we've got an excellent fit on the phone. You've got a little bit of give over your buttons and your port openings, but it's very slight. Overall, I think we've got a great fit on here. As far as the amount of lip is concerned, you have an equal amount of lip all the way around, as opposed to the Mouse Clarity 2.0, where you have the high lip on the bottom and the top and we have a sufficient lip to protect your screen even with a tempered glass screen protector on here. So of course I still have that Case Defy edge to edge blue light blocking screen protector on here. Great fit with this case. So you're going 100% Case Defy here. Looking down here at our port openings, we've got asymmetrical port openings for an asymmetrical port design, so that is excellent. And you should be able to fit many third-party lightning cables here, although of course this case does support wireless charging, so you might find you're using that functionality less than you otherwise would. And if you opt for a MagSafe version of this case, you also can use MagSafe charging to charge your phone as well. So overall, I think everything looks great there. Looking here at our corners, again, we do have that special corner protection with our bumpers. Cool twister design here with this extra EcoShock material. These give you more grip and they have a really nice feel in the hand, as well as obviously giving you greater drop protection. Got that 11.5 feet of drop protection with this case. So going up the sides here, you can see these little speckles here. 
These are the remainder of the recycled phone cases that were used in the construction of this case. So they give a really cool look. And then going here to our buttons, we got the same kind of buttons you have on the Mouse Clarity 2.0, same slit design, very responsive. The buttons are excellent here, but you do have the potential for dust or dirt to get in those holes. And then as far as access to our mute switch is concerned, everything is great there, no issues. Looking at the view from the top, we got a great fit here with this Case Defy edge to edge screen protector. Everything looks great. And then going over to the side, got another excellent clicky button here, same slit design. And then we've got our recycling statement here. So some people are going to find it's a little bit over the top printing it on the side of the phone case, but I think a lot of people are going to appreciate the recycling commitment. So just depends on personal preference there. Looking at the back of the case, this crystal clear polycarbonate does a wonderful job in showing off your iPhone. Everything looks lovely, although this type of material does tend to have issues with fingerprints and scratching. So there's a couple things that case device cases do which are going to help with that. For one thing, as far as fingerprints are concerned, I think that those are going to be a lot less noticeable when you have anything on the case to take your eye away from the fingerprints. And the same is true for scratches as well. So Case Defy specializes in custom text and custom print cases. So anytime your eyes can be looking at that rather than any scratches or fingerprints, you're just going to notice them a whole lot less. And then the other thing which is going to help here is that just like the Clarity 2.0, we have a raised rim at the bottom and the top here. So when this case is placed on its back, the majority of the case back is going to be very slightly raised above the flat surface. So that's definitely going to help against scratching. Although this is a much smaller raised rim here on the bottom and the top as compared to what you have with the Mouse Clarity 2.0. And as far as protection for your rear camera is concerned, you can see we've got a raised rim here which is protecting on all four sides as opposed to just the two sides for the Clarity 2.0. So you should definitely have lay on the table design protection here. Everything looks good there. And as far as wireless charging is concerned, you're going to be able to use this with regular Qi wireless charges with no problem. MagSafe charging is not really going to work very well with this particular version of the Ultra Impact case because they didn't send me the one with the MagSafe upgrade. So case device cases are extremely customizable. You can choose to have MagSafe or no MagSafe. In this particular case, there is no MagSafe, but if you choose a MagSafe ring for another $10, then this becomes MagSafe compatible, and the MagSafe on the case device cases really works quite well. So don't shy away from this case because of the lack of MagSafe. You can definitely have this with MagSafe. You just have to pay a little bit extra. Comparing these two cases side by side, your Case Defy Ultra Impact case is going to be slightly heavier and a little bit bigger in all dimensions as compared to the Mouse Clarity 2.0. So it's a little bit taller, very slightly wider, and as far as thickness is concerned, it's going to be thicker in the middle, although the same thickness at the bottom and the top because, of course, the Mouse Clarity 2.0 does have those high top and bottom rims, both on the back and the front of the case. So protection-wise, you have a very clear idea from Case Defy as to how protective their Ultra Impact case is going to be. You've got that 11.5 feet of drop protection, and as far as the number of drops it can survive, Case Defy says that it will survive five times as many drops as is required for military drop test certification. So that's something like 130 drops, if I remember correctly. Whereas with your Mouse Clarity 2.0, there's not a whole lot of clarity there about the amount of drop protection it's going to provide. Mouse just says it's going to provide extreme drop protection. So looking at these cases one more time on the phone, we've got a great look here with the iridescent Mouse Clarity 2.0. Just such a fun color. Very sleek look here with our glossy TPU sides. Very slim case for such a huge phone. And then we have that pretty minimal amount of protection here for the rear camera, but it is just enough. So if you're tired of having really huge protective cases for your iPhone 14 Pro Max, then this might be a good choice for you. And then the Case Defy Ultra Impact with its grippier sides. You've got more grip also because you've got those Ultra Impact corners. 
reassuringly standard design here. Plenty of protection here for your protruding camera. All kinds of custom options and a fantastic recycling commitment. So both of these are great cases. It just depends upon what you're looking for in a protective case for your brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max. Price-wise, you're going to pay a bit more for the Case to Fight Ultra Impact case if you choose to go with a MagSafe option. So without a MagSafe option, as you see it here, it's going to be $82 for the 14 Pro Max version, but you have to add an extra $10 on for the MagSafe. So the MagSafe version of the Ultra Impact case for the 14 Pro Max by Case to Fight is $92, but you're not going to pay anything extra for any of the many custom options you have. You can go with custom tech, custom print, whatever. Those are all going to be included for the standard price of the case. So definitely some solid options there from Casetify. And if you want to go with the Mouse Clarity 2.0 for your iPhone 14 Pro Max, you've got two colors to choose from. You've got your standard clear as well as your iridescent dawn color but you don't have any additional customization options like you do with the Case to Fight Ultra Impact case, so no custom text and no prints. The Mouse Clarity 2.0 is going to run you $84.99 for the iPhone 14 Pro Max version, but that does include the MagSafe functionality with no upcharge, and if you decide you don't need MagSafe functionality at all, but you just really like the design of the new Clarity, you can go with a standard Clarity case, which appears to be completely identical to the Clarity 2.0, and it's only going to cost you $59. So you can save quite a lot if you don't want MagSafe, but I don't know why anyone would do that because MagSafe is super cool. I think everyone is going to want MagSafe. So all of these case options are expensive, no question about that, but you can save some money on your purchase using the discount code you'll find for mouse in the description below or going to my Casetify affiliate URL, www.casetify.com slash the tech reviewer. And in both cases, you're going to get a 15% discount on your purchase. Many thanks to the kind folks at Casetify and Mouse for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions about these cases or anything else, please feel free to put them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And please do consider subscribing to my channel because I've got a lot more tech accessory reviews coming up. Again, this is Kristen with the Tech Reviewer. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.